Hello everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at um, image to 3 d AI and it was developed by Common Sense Machines. I'm going to show you how it works, some results, how to use it and uh, of course where you can actually try it. Now there are two ways to use it, you can use it via Discord or the official website. If you want to use it with the Discord, make sure to sign up uh, with the Discord option. And you're going to have the option either to drag and drop images, just click it upload or generate via Discord. And if you use MeJourney, it's more or less the same. Actually, they have MeJourney option to generate images there. So you can actually generate images using MeJourney and use another command in order to generate the 3D model. And by the way, so the time of making this particular segment of the video, it actually was, uh, I think the servers were just overwhelmed. But again, they actually fixed it pretty fast. Now you can check out other people's creation in the community showcase what people are actually uh, creating with it. I mean, they just, you can see the image and then the 3D model preview and you can actually click it and just rotate it around if you want to, to see it in a larger scale. But definitely uh, looks impressive. Of course, I'm going to show you something that I tried myself, but there are plenty of options that you can actually click more and load more and see uh, the different creations from the community. And of course, it is recommended uh, to bring a subject that is separated from a background, basically a plain background. I didn't try transparent, but I don't think it should work as well. But basically white background, something that helps separate the subject from the background. And you can see that most of the images that you see here, all of them actually are like that. Again, otherwise you just lead to unexpected results. Uh, here you can see that you can click any of the preview uh, and uh, you can see a larger version of it. Let's take a look at this dude, for example. Again, this is somebody who brought the image. You can see the image at the top. And by the way, the four images below, the smaller ones are kind of a preview. So you can actually preview before generating. Uh, keep in mind that it takes a lot of time to generate. I think it, what mentioned in the Discord about two to three hours. So you're not going to get it immediately. Something to keep in mind. So basically you're going to generate several of them and just wait and come back uh, to see the results. So you can see the image in the bigger square and you can actually go and you can actually zoom in as well, rotate it around and see how it looks like. So the preview give you a good example of what you can expect. Uh, the preview is immediate, so give you an example of what you can expect from the results. So if you don't like the preview, well maybe try again or with a different image. So you can see here for example the picture with the flower, I saw the preview, it looks okay and I decided to uh, generate the 3D mesh, you can see at the top, you can see the progress and basically again, once it starts generating, it's going to take uh, a few hours until it's completed. So I generated a few images using Bing Image Creator and uploaded to the website. Keep in mind that if you are using uh, the Discord version, you need a URL to the image, you can't upload directly. I mean, what you can do is upload the image to the Discord and then click it, get the URL and use the URL in the Discord in order to point uh, to the location of the image. All right, so now, for example, I'm in Common Sense Machine, official Discord, uh, inside the gender under generation image to 3D section. Uh, and uh, then I can just do slash get 3D and uh, then I need to enter the image URL. Keep in mind that uh, if you already have the image on your computer, you can just uh, upload the image, uh, clicking plus, upload the image, it's gonna appear here, you can actually click it, and then you can just go open in browser, for example, get the image URL, and then you can actually paste it in the get 3D image. All right, so this is one option for if you just want to do it inside the Discord and not doing outside, like, there. of course there are, upload, uh, free upload uh, image uh, services that you can use, but just a quick or like that. So again, I wanted to try it out uh, with those three images, one with Butterfly. You can always see preview. This is when it's done. All of them are done. I actually just tried it the other day. I didn't wait hours for it. Uh, for this one the other day, this is for the soldier. We're going to see a larger version in a moment. And the other one, which I knew is not going to be good because I saw the preview. Nonetheless, I want to show you some things that don't look right as well. Uh, but of course you can try it with many different type of images and see how it goes. Uh, this is kind of more complex for it, so I wanted to see how it's actually dealing with a very complex uh, 3D model. You can see it's not perfect, it has kind of a dent there, instead of being about... And considering this is the image, by the way, you see on the left side, the larger square, this is the image. The other one for little square, the preview that are generated uh, very fast, so you can actually see what you can expect to see. Uh, and of course the the rendering, the final render of the 3D model is going to be, of course, look a bit different from all of these images. 
uh, after it generated and you can see not bad right not bad of course it depends on the image going to be for some uh, better than others uh, so this is again for the main website we can actually visit and uh, you know just see other people's creations and upload things yourself alongside the discord channel uh, url which i'm going to link by the way in the description of this video to make it easier for you to just click it and visit it and that's how it is so again this is just going to get better and better but again uh, you can try it out it works really wonderful and do wonders for some uh, images but for some others it's not trained well but overall very impressive really fun to kind of play around with and remember you can always download the mesh as well so if i go here you can see download the mesh option and I can choose to download it uh, using the GLB format. Now the GLB is a binary file format representation of 3D molders uh, saved in the GGL tra GL transmission format, uh, GLTF, information about 3D molders such as node directory, cameras, materials, animation, and meshes are stored in a binary format. And the good thing about it, it doesn't require external files of texture, shaders, of animation data. So everything is just packed in a single file. And of course, it's supported by a variety of 3D software applications like Blender, Unity, and Unreal Engine. So you can easily import and share it, of course, with others if you like. So again, it's a good uh, that actually use this particular one because again, it's smaller file size, faster loading time, future proof format, and widely supported. And this is it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And just go and try it yourself and see if you like it. Uh, and have fun. See you on the next one. Cheers.